I mean, they literally brought this guy back to life, you know, on the side of the road. Scary. Realized that it wasn't gonna end good. All I can remember is on my hands and knees in front of the truck, or on one hand, waving the other one, hoping somebody would see me and stop. And that's, and then I blacked out. Uh, on the morning, I received a radio call uh, of a subject down on the interstate. Uh, I headed to the scene. Don't want to use the word routine, but it, you know, pretty much seemed like a normal call. You know, trucks off the side of the road, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, hazards on. You know, nine times out of ten, it's, it's a guy looking at his truck. Maybe he had a blown tire or something like that, but you never know what, what the problem is. So as I walk up, uh, and then I see the situation we have, then of course my emotions, the adrenaline starts rushing. Um, realize that we have to uh, um, make this a safe scene and I gotta get some help there. When Trooper Hitchcock pulled him from the vehicle and I saw the condition that he was in, his, I could just, you know, I could only see from his neck up, um, but his face was completely purple. As many times as we, we have to deal with, with stuff like that, you know, you look at that and you're like, ooh, this guy's, not in a good state, whatever is going on, it's not good. That's when your training kicks in, you just start doing what you have to do and what you're trying to do. Uh, it's always great though when there's other people there and Deputy Ferguson was right there. If there's a stoppage of the heart, um, if we can get some kind of something to help them within an hour, their chances of survival is, is greatly increased. So any situation like that where it's an unknown to me, I always grab my AD because you never know if that's going to help or not. He brought the AD with him, which was great. So he was, I mean, instead of seconds later, he already had it in his hand. Um, as soon as we got down, I mean, he, he put the AD on, we assessed, and he immediately started CPR. John knew exactly what, what I was going to do. He had already started cutting off the shirt when I was getting my AD ready. So, um, it, you know, it was nice to have someone there who had experience in the same type of situation. Uh, short time later, um, a, a council bus captain showed up that was on his way to work, uh, assisted, and then at about the same time, uh, a semi-driver had stopped and advised that he was an emergency medical technician from out of state and had a bottle of oxygen, uh, which we don't normally have. Initially, while the CPR was going on, I didn't get a, I didn't feel the pulse. Um, I did feel the compressions, but uh, shortly after that, I ch checked the pulse again. I got a strong pulse, steady and I just had them discontinue CPR. Within probably a couple minutes, we had a pulse, subject was breathing, and uh, then we turned over care to the uh, rescue units that arrived. It's just good that you have three different departments that were able to help each other. We all wanna do the same thing. We're, we're here to help people and, and, to, and to seek positive outcomes in situations like this. The fact that our save rate is so high, it's not because of one agency, it's because of that, that working together, that network that we've developed. Each guy on scene, was a veteran officer, so it makes it a lot easier. You know, they just kind of work together. We've got Underwood Volunteer Fire Department that responded. We had Council Bluffs Medic 3 crew, I believe, uh, take the patient in, and then the hospital ER staff. So it's not just the on-scene stuff, it's that continuing care as well. I'm very, very thankful to the uh, Deputy Ferguson and Captain McCowan for uh, their assistance, as well as the uh, other semi-driver that stopped. I'm very happy that he's alive, uh, that he, he's uh, recovered. It makes a, a great ending to the story. All I can say is someone was looking out for me that day, and I'm glad they were there and responded. Thank you.